Hey everybody and welcome Hello. to OBS Today. Yeah, OBS Today. Yes. January 14th. Uh, January 14th. Mm -hmm. This is Melissa Taylor. Hi everybody. Great to see you today. You nice are to be with you, Kendra. Senior Director of First Five and OBS. That's right. Yes. Yep. Yes. And Love I it. am Kendra. You are Kendra, <laughs> the manager of nice. online Bible studies. Yes. 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 And all things happy. She's and all things the most happy. positive person I've ever met in my life. Oh, well, thank you. Hashtag truth. <laughs> <laughs> this weekend, Melissa sent our team a video of a lady. It was a commercial. It's a Haverty's commercial, and this girl, like, overuses the hashtags, and she's known. She's like, hashtag, and the other girl's like, you know, people don't talk in hashtag. And she goes, hashtag I do, or something like that. It just reminded me of Kendra. So if you've ever seen it, let us know in the comments. It's fun. It is a fun commercial. You will laugh. And go ahead and put maybe your favorite hashtag that you yeah. ever used or you like to use on your social media posts. Hashtag I heart OBS. Oh, okay. Hashtag it's not supposed to be this way. Hashtag it's not supposed to be this way. Hashtag sorry not sorry. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Hashtag sorry I am sorry. Oh good. Okay, see this. You get so creative with hashtags everybody. So go ahead and write your favorites in the comments. And so how are y'all doing on this Monday? Everyone doing okay? How are you feeling? You know, good. I was in a bit of rush today because I worked out. <gasps> she got her workout Before on. work. And y'all, it's a different workout every day. When I looked at the title of today's, I was like, oh no. What was it? Sweat. Oh. Yeah. So I thought, I kind of might want to skip it. But I didn't. I did it. Do you want to, can I tell them a fun fact about you? A secret? Oh. Hashtag yes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes Melissa, after well, I do this too. After you work out, you just blow dry. Oh, not your sometimes, sweat. always, and you get a little more volume. Well, because I shower at night, right. and so I don't have time to shower in the morning after I work out. So I just blow dry it, and here you go. Hashtag yikes. <laughs> <laughs> That's your beauty tip for today, y'all. Just blow dry the sweat. I yeah. love that. Spray the perfume. Good to go. Yeah. Okay. See, there you go. Walk out the door. <laughs> So, in one week, do y'all know what is happening? I do. Ooh, what's going I on? I do, I'm, and I'm so, so, so excited about it. Our next online Bible study. Yes. It's not supposed to be this way. I believe you have the book right here by yes, Lisa do. Turkhurst. It's not too late to sign up for this, exactly. and if you're not signed up, do me a favor and sign up. I, I, I promise you, I think you will be glad that you did. Yes. Um, it's going to be great. Even if you don't have your book yet, we're going to have the first week of content yep. for you to get started next week. We'll give that to you next week. You can also get it in your welcome email. You can get it right now. You can get it up. now. Yep. What am I talking about? What do I know? I'm only the senior director of this thing. A lot of details. I mean, yeah. So um, we would love to have you join us. Yeah, we really would. And I know sometimes when we put out an online Bible study, you might think to yourself like, I don't know, is this study for me? Do I right. connect with the message? And I, we are here to tell you that we think anyone will connect with this message. I really do, because when you look at the subtitle, read yeah. the subtitle. The it's, subtitle it's is this, Finding Unexpected Strength When Disappointments Leave You Shattered. Right. So I can look at that and think, wow, I have felt that way before. Currently, I'm not feeling shattered, Yeah. but I have felt shattered. But whether what shatters me might not shatter you, like we all kind of have that breaking point. Right. I think sometimes we compare like, oh, she has it mu much worse than me. Yeah. At least I'm not going through that. But we that's so dangerous. We can't do that. Yeah. Because if we're feeling disappointed, which I don't know about you, but I have daily disappointments. And I have read this book and this book helped me with my disappointments that I don't know that I'll ever truly quit thinking about. Yeah. But also um, the little things too. But it, it helps you not to compare. Right. And it's a good resource well. to continue to go back to. So we read it as a staff months and months and months ago. And then I went through a disappointment of like a few weeks ago and I started reading it again. And I was like, oh, that's so applicable. And right. so it's a really good right. thing well, to continue to come back to. How many of you are like in your late 40s, 50s, 60s? You're kind of in that second phase of life. Mm -hmm to where I'll tell you what the disappointments for me are. In my Fab Five friend group, yes. my Bible study girls, um, today the text that they were sending out are becoming more and more common. My mother is in the hospital. Yeah. My father has dementia. I mean, literally, like, there's like, both of my parents have passed away. Right. I've already gone through that. There's another one of them, their parents have passed away. Do you remember the phase, and some of you, 
you are going through this now, like it's weddings and babies That's and true. new jobs and graduation and opportunity and the kind of the new stuff. Yeah. You know, y'all do all this little fun Friendsgiving and, you know, whatever. <laughs> but then as you live life, just natural disappointments begin. I mean, they always happen, yeah. but they get different. Now, this is going to sound so morbid, but it's true. The number one event that I attend now are parents' funerals. Wow. Friends of my parents. My friends' parents' mm -hmm. funerals are the older, the next older generation in my family. Yeah. And so those are disappointments. It's life. Right. But it's also reality. Yeah. And I think that's good for me to hear as a 20-something of mm -hmm. just seeing what is coming down in life and just seeing how I can make the most of the time now. Right. But so, God. But God. Yes. Hope is always there. So I don't want to like, you know, this is a great Bible study. It's not supposed to be that way, but there is a big but in that. Right. But God. Yes. There's hope always. And so Lisa's very good at um, letting you like find yourself in her story, the way yes. she tells stories, and she's very vulnerable. And I know you've worked with Lisa for years and years and years. Right. So why do you connect so much with her writing? Well, first of all, because I know Lisa personally, yeah. I know this is Lisa. Mm -hmm. Like this is not Lisa the author. There's not a difference between Lisa the author and Lisa the person. Right. She is so real and she doesn't try to make it pretty. She doesn't make sure it's all wrapped up in a bow Very by true. the end of the story because in this particular book, it wasn't yeah. at the time. She did not know if the things that she was going through would be would turn out resolved, okay. yeah. reconciled, you know, whatever. If you follow Lisa on Instagram, you know that one of the disappointments in her life, which had been her marriage, yeah. it, they have reconciled. It has been restored. The vows have been renewed. And so there's that beautiful picture. But when she was writing this, she didn't know it was going to turn out that way. Right. And, um... So I just, I think you can, what you're reading is Lisa. Yeah. Like I hear her voice as I read this. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So there is a section of the book in chapter six. It's called A Little Too Long and A Lot Too Hard. Mm -hmm. And so she kind of lists out different situations. And so earlier in this um, message, we talked about um, if the study is for you. Right. And I'm here to tell you that it is. And so I'm going to read through this list. And I just want you to think if you can find yourself in this page, these pages. Okay. okay? So, the glaring disappointments of negative pregnancy tests month after month while your closest friends are decorating their soon-to-be-filled nurseries. The emptiness in your heart because the person you love doesn't seek to really understand you, rarely cheers you on, and doesn't seem to want to connect intimately with you. The draining frustration of never being the one chosen for the job or ministry opportunity, opportunity you've dreamed about for a long, long time. The excruciating fear of watching your kids make poor choices, no matter how hard you pray for them. The heartbreak of that friendship that fell apart despite your best efforts to hold it together. The painful symptoms of a chronic illness that leave you feeling weak, frustrated, and misunderstood. And the weight of living with so much financial debt that you can't enjoy your life or the people in it. Mm. There are so many situations where we can look at it and be like, it's not supposed to be this right. way. I didn't grow up thinking that life was going to deal me right. this hand or whatnot. And right. so this book, I feel like, gives you the answers you need to find the hope and continue right. on amidst right. your situation. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we invite you guys to join us for yes. the study. And you might be wondering, join us and just a few others oh, who have signed just, up. Just a small amount of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thousands and thousands like, and thousands. Like 79,000. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to tell Yeah, anybody. no, 79,000 people. Right. And what did we say yesterday? It fills up the Panther Stadium? It it, no, it like oh, oh, over capacity the Panther Stadium. It's almost NFL filled stadium. the Gamecock Stadium. Yeah, it, I mean, think for about doing Bible study with eighty thousand yes. of your close friends. Right? Yeah, it's it's gonna be fat from all over the world. All over the world. This is a worldwide phenomenon. It's so it excited. Is. And so you may be wondering, well, how do you do a study online? I was going to ask you, how does this work? <laughs> because I I know how to do a Bible study with people face to face when yeah. I sit down with them and we can talk. But how 
How does an online study work? It seems like it could be impersonal yeah. or, you know, it's just me and my phone or me and my computer. So how does that work? Right. So we have this resource and it's called Week at a Glance. It was in today's email if you're signed up, but we'll also post the link for you. And in Instagram, it's in the link in your bio if you would like it. Um, and so it looks like this. This is the cover photo. You might not be able to see it very well, but it lists out all the weeks, weeks one to six. All right. And if you click those links, you will be directed to a reading plan, to the okay. first week's content. I'm so to impressed. Everything you need. Every link? Every link. Every week? Every week. Whoa. That's right. You'll see the verse That's of the week amazing. is at the top, the study hashtags, which we love so much. Yay. Yes. What are the hashtags? Um, P31 OBS. Okay. And it's not supposed to be this way. Okay. Nice and long. Yes. Yeah, good. But you'll have a reading plan for you, exactly what you're supposed to read and when, different events going on. And so this is your one-stop shop to help you with an online study. Okay. And let me just thank our super volunteers yes. who put this together, mm -hmm. um, our kind of writing team, yes. I guess, for the blog, who for putting this together. Thank you guys so much because what a great resource. Another thing I love about it, if it's not supposed to be that way happens to you during it's not supposed to be this way and you fall behind in your reading right. because you are tending to other things, you can go back and just... Take, look at all those weeks at a glance. Exactly. And take your time getting caught up, and you haven't really missed anything. There you go. That's something that we love, love here. That. Is do it at your own pace. You yeah. Know? If one day the kids are, you need to focus on the kids a little right. more, then that's okay. But Bible study, um, right. back burner for a little bit. Right. Yeah. I love that. Thank you. Hey, you are so about that. welcome. So that is your week at a glance. We hope it helps you. And we hope that you guys join us in study. We'd right. love to see you next Monday. That's right. That's right. And for you, those of you on Facebook, we have a group. Yes. A very, another large group. 8,000 people. Oh, yeah. no. I think it's nine something. No? Now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 9,000. Yeah. 9, yeah. Um, on Facebook, in a community group that has a leader that will daily be um, generating discussion around this study. It's yep. not on our regular Facebook page, but we do have the link. We do. Yep. Today um, for you to join that community group. You can just ask to join and you'll be placed right in it. Because OBS is not an island. That's right. We and come it, together. That's right. And we are studying, but we also want to open up to have communication. That's where, and community. That's what kind of makes this online Bible study a little bit different. It's not just you and your phone. You actually do have opportunities to comment on the blog yeah. and interact with people there and get involved in a community um, through social media. That's right. That's right, everyone. Well, we hope you have a wonderful week, and we will see you next week when we kick off. It's not, not supposed, supposed to, to be, be this way. way. Okay, one more thing, Beth. She's about to click you off. But for Facebook also, yeah. I want to let them know that this... You're going to be with Lisa this week. On Thursday. On Facebook Live. Yes. Is that going to be here or on her on, page? On the main ministry page. Okay. Proverbs 31 so Ministry. I want you guys to make sure you tune in for that. So on Thursday. Thursday. Around 10.30. Ish. Yeah. With Lisa, it's usually ish. Around 10.30-ish on the main Proverbs 31 Facebook page. Yes. Kendra and Lisa, Sit down. you will not want to miss it. You will not. Kendra and Lisa, dynamic duo. Oh, <laughs> cannot wait. <laughs> Take one out of your book. Woo! That's right. All right, everybody. Hey, have a great day, and we'll see you next week. That's right. Bye. Bye.